Why, when he talks to us, it always looks like we woke him up in the middle of the night. Does he ever have any energy? And, man, what a shot across the bow and an insult to this president. Here to react is senior fellow for the London Center for Policy Research, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer. Hey, Colonel, Brian. to me, that is so over the line, I can't even put it into words. Your thoughts? Uh, well, apparently Jim Clapper's now a Ph.D. in, in, in analyzing people remotely. Uh, look, I'll be blunt about it. Jim Clapper's an idiot. I, I, I've briefed that man several times. And when, you, when I briefed him on very complex operations, you can see this vacant look. He just doesn't get stuff. So what he's done now, Brian, and this happened during the time he was director of national intelligence, he's become a political bot. He actually just parrots what he's told. And in this case, I think he's starting to roll out the new anti-Trump line that he's not fit to serve. Oh my goodness, I have concerns. This is what the left has become all about. It's not about facts. It's about, oh, I, I think this may be this. I feel this way about it. And Clapper is, is a complete poster child for that methodology. And this is what they're telegraphing now. They're putting him out there to kind of see where, how, how well this resonates with the CNN audience. Because he's the national intelligence director for eight years. Right. If he says that, it he must be true. Credibility. And That's by right. the way, he knows a lot of secrets and he knows a lot about that transition of what President Trump and President Obama talked about. Right. And if you're wondering how a lot of these things are getting in the papers, could one conclude that perhaps somebody who thinks the president's unstable that wants to quit the job, literally, hit, could he possibly be the right. source there? You're an intelligence officer. Yeah, no, look, I, I know for a fact, and I've turned a name over, uh, one of his deputies was one of the leakers, according to my information. That information was turned over to the appropriate authorities. And yes, he directed it from my information. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens regarding the investigation, but that was action. With that said, he personally, Brian, has lied twice under oath to the American people. So how does anybody consider this man credible at this point in time? And yes, he was part of the effort with Ben Rhodes, uh, John Brennan and the others to go about doing everything they could during a transition to unmask people, which continues to be investigated, as well as do things just to say things publicly like this to undermine the, the smooth transition. So again, I, I don't understand how anybody gives Jim Clapper any credibility at this point in time. If they were saying this about President Clinton or President Obama, what do you think the backlash would be? That he, that, that he somehow unhinged and wants to quit the job? I've never heard that in my life. A president no. looking for a way out? No. Like Mike Tyson against Evander Holyfield? Right. Yeah, no, this is, he would be completely isolated. I suspect he would be getting death threats. I suspect that everybody on the left would be piling on. He would have people protesting in his, in his drive balloon to see how well this narrative plays because, you know, look, Russia didn't work. I don't think this whole uh, Trump's uh, a, 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 a supremacist is working. And I think this is their next tactic.